Welcome to Global Ocean TV, the official television channel of the world's ocean, brought to you by the Terramar Project. I'm Rob Foos, and I'm excited to share this story from Ibiza highlighting Posidonia oceanica, a seagrass species endemic to the Mediterranean. To tell us more about this important plant, I'll hand it over to Ellie Crisp of the Green Teen Team Foundation. Over to you, Ellie. Thanks, Rob. I'm here representing the Green Teen Team Foundation. The objective of the foundation is to empower children to be able to make changes to their lives, the lives of others, and therefore the life of the planet. We engage children with nature via worldwide projects, which connect conservation organisations, schools, families and social groups. The world's environment is changing before our very eyes, and that is especially evident off the coast of Ibiza in the Posidonia Oceanica prairies, which are home to many species important to the planet's biodiversity, including seahorse species, Hippocampus, Hippocampus and Hippocampus ramulosus. Posidonia Oceanica is found in areas with moderate currents and transparent waters, which is why the beautiful Mediterranean Sea is the only place this spermaphrodite calls home. Posidonia Oceanica colonizes seabeds some 30 to 40 meters below the surface. It grows very slowly, but has an incredible lifespan. In May 2006, a team of international scientists discovered a Posidonia Oceanica plant between the islands of Formentera and Ibiza that measures 8 kilometers long and is estimated to be more than 100,000 years old, making it the world's largest living organism ever documented. The plant grows horizontally and can cover large areas of the seabed. It also grows vertically, leading to the formation of barrier reefs, which can reach 2 meters in height. Posidonia oceanica stabilizes the seabed, protects the coastline from storms. Each year, the first autumn storms deposit large quantities of the plant's dead leaves on the coast, creating another natural barrier by preventing the beach erosion and protecting the sand dune systems. On December 4, 1999, UNESCO designated the prairies of Posidonia Oceanica as a World Heritage Site under the denomination Ibiza Biodiversity and Culture. The ocean prairies are also protected by the Habitats Directive of the European Union, highlighting the area as a priority habitat due to its environmental importance. Despite all of this, there is growing pressure on this underwater ecosystem, which is very sensitive to the environmental changes we are experiencing, and it threatens the health of the water and all species that live in and around the plant. To talk further about the threats to Posidonia oceanica, I'll hand you over to Mariano Mari. Thanks, Ellie. I am Mariano Marie from Hen Gop Ibiza, a local organization working since 1982 for a global goal, to achieve a stable and long-lasting harmony between human activities and nature. Adequate protection of Posidonia oceanica should be a primary concern for a variety of stakeholders in the Balearic Islands. The beauty and transparency of our seawater and the quality of the sun on the beaches are pivotal to the preservation of the underwater prairies. This directly impacts tourism affecting many livelihoods. Adequate protection should also be of interest to the fishing sector, which needs the shelter provided by the prairies to protect juvenile fish and maintain healthy fish stocks. Despite all this, there is growing pressure on this underwater ecosystem, which is very sensitive to environmental changes. Not only are rising ocean temperatures which seriously affect the entire Mediterranean, threatening the Posidonia Oceanica, but human activity is also placing these precious plants at risk. Urban development along the coast, particularly the construction of seawalls, marinas and piers, significantly impact Posidonia Oceanica. Contamination from the illegal dumping of wastewater by purification plants, coastline towns and boats is ruining the delicate balance of the ecosystem by introducing substantial quantities of nutrients. With increased boating activity in the area, Many yachts are resorting to anchoring in the protected bays and severely damaging the prairies. This is a particularly avoidable activity by requiring boats to anchor on sandy bottoms or by increasing the number of ecologically installed mooring balls. Overfishing is another problem. In addition to the small fleet of local fishing boats, most of which work using traditional methods, a large number of industrial trawlers from other areas are adding extra pressure to the region, but there is one more serious emerging danger, oil prospection and possible oil exploitation. 
a number of projects are currently underway in the Western Mediterranean, close to the Balearic coast. This new threat is a ticking time bomb that may destroy not only the marine life, but also the very economy of these islands. The local population unanimously opposes and is fighting oil exploitation at all levels, notably through the creation of the Alianza Mar Blava, but several oil companies persist. I'll pass it off to Sandra Bedmeniste to speak about the Alianza Mar Blava. Thank you, Mariano. I am Sandra Benveniste, the Executive Director of the Ibiza Preservation Fund. The Ibiza Preservation Fund aims to preserve Ibiza and Formentera's exceptional beauty and natural value by encouraging sustainable initiatives. Our main focus is the conservation of Ibiza and Formentera's countryside and marine areas. The Ibiza Preservation Fund is a member of the Alianza Mar Blava, or Blue Sea Alliance, a consortium of public and private sector organizations dedicated to stopping the exploration and exploitation of hydrocarbons off the coast of Ibiza and Formentera, as well as promoting renewable energy as an alternative to oil. Our biggest success so far has been the withdrawal of the company Kind Limited, which wanted to look for oil 30 kilometers away from Ibiza. Nevertheless, there are two other companies threatening the Baleares, which is why we aim at the declaration of a moratorium on oil exploration in the Spanish Mediterranean. We need everybody's help. Please check our site at www.alianzamarblava.org and help us adopting a metro of sea. We need your help. Today, we see the consequences of the combination of a lack of foresight and a surplus of human ambition, and how they threaten the future of life on the planet. Posidonia Oceanica, an authentic natural treasure, is a proof of this, as its very existence depends on one of the most threatened ecosystems on Earth. The sea is our shared responsibility, and as such, we must all help to protect it. Back to you, Rob. Thank you, Ellie, Mariano, and Sandra for that special report. To learn more about Posidonia Oceanica, check out the stories in the Daily Catch, which can be found in the description to this video. In the description of this video are also links to the Green Teen Team Foundation, the Ibiza Preservation Fund, and Ganga Bavisa. Thank you.